Welcome to our video series on Advanced Dreamweaver Features and Techniques. In this video, we'll look at working directly in code view in Dreamweaver. Now, if you're interested in working directly in code view in Dreamweaver, there are some features that make it easier. For example, let's start a new line of code. Let's say we're going to create a table. Okay, opening bracket, and then it lists all the possible tags. So if we press T, it takes us to table. So we can select that, space, and then it prompts you for what comes next. So for example, let's say width equals and then it automatically adds the correct syntax. So we can add 600 there. And if you put your cursor at the end and press space, it prompts you some more. So we can pick a line. Double click on that and centrally align it. Space, background, browse. Let's have a look. Okay, it's looking for a file. Let's actually cancel that. Let's delete that. And now again, space. And this time, let's try BG color, background color. Double click. So let's just say light yellow. Space, border color, black, border, let's say one. And if we close that, OK. But it hasn't automatically added the closing tag. So we would, of course, need to add a closing table tag. But really, that's just a quick demonstration of how, when working in code view in Dreamweaver, it can shortcut the creation and editing process if you want to work at that level. And if you do know some HTML, it is good as a reminder because it's easy to have mental blocks when writing in code. So it's helpful just to remind you what comes next. And what you can also do is you can insert tags. And you can specify HTML tags, CFML tags, which I believe stands for Cold Fusion Tags, which is a programming language, ASP, JSP, and PHP tags. These are more programming languages. Let's stick with HTML. And it breaks it up into categories. Page composition, page elements, formatting and layout, Tables. Let's go to Tables. Let's say we want Table Row. Double click that. OK, Tag Editor, General. Table Row. Let's left align it. Vertical align it. Vertical alignment, let's say Middle. Background Color, let's leave it as White, or specify it specifically as White. Browser Specific. Here's where you can choose browser-specific code, and it tells you which browser this should work with. So border color works with Internet Explorer version 2 and onwards, border color light, border color dark, height. OK, height works with Internet Explorer 5 and onward, Netscape 6 and up, and Opera 4 and up. OK, style sheet accessibility, language, events, and so on. So you can see how that works. So let's just close that for now. And often I find it very useful. Let's actually remove this. Go to Design View and Insert Table. And let's say, OK, default options are fine. This is just a quick demo. So that creates the code for you. And what I do is go to Code View. And what I've often done with tables is add a CSS border around it. So, OK, at the table tag, let's add a space. And it starts prompting me. So I'm going to add style. And it prompts you with more options. So I want border. And you have a number of options here. So let's say dotted space, and we can add more options. Let's say thick, and let's choose a color. 
double click that, and let's say red. Okay, let's see how that looks. And you can see that by making that change, I've added a dotted red border around the table. Quite a thick border. And it just makes working in code view a lot easier and a lot more productive.